today we're going to take a first look at the Pepwave Max Transit Duo Cat 12, the latest dual modem mobile cellular router from Peplink. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Pepwave Max Transit Duo with the Cat 12 LTE modems. Um, the latest cellular router from Peplink. Now, take a look at this. We've long been fans of the Pepwave Max BR1. This is a, a cellular integrated router that we've actually had as our daily uh, driver for years now. Um, and the Max Transit is the next step up in the Pepwave product line. In particular, the Max Transit Duo takes this mobile ruggedized form factor and actually puts two cellular modems into it. So you can actually be connected to two carriers simultaneously. Um, and then this a new version with the um, LTE Cat 12 modems actually doubles the speed of what is uh, um, the LTE is capable of in here from uh, Cat 6, which has got peak speeds of 300 megabits per second down and 50 up to Cat 12, which has 600 megabits per second down and 150 megabits per second up. So that's huge jump in a raw cellular potential. Now those are theoretical peak speeds, real speeds will be a fraction of that, but the relative difference between a CAT6 modem and a CAT12 modem on fully upgraded cell towers could potentially be twice as fast with a CAT12 modem. So potentially twice as fast cellular performance. This has got, um, compared to the Max BR1, it's got three times the internal CPU horsepower for handling more people because, well, Pepe's normal market for this is buses and trains and you know commuter shuttles that might have 50 or 100 people connected at once. Um, so is this overkill for somebody who is in an RV? Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, not too long ago we would have said definitely because this cost $1,800, but with the new pricing that Pepwave has brought out with these Cat 12 models is they now have what they're calling Prime Care, which is a support contract. They've dropped the upfront cost of these uh, routers from $1,800 down to $799 for the Cat 6 modem version and $999 for the Cat 12 modem version. Um, so a huge jump drop in price. And then also their speed fusion bonding technology that lets you combine two connections simultaneously used to cost $1,200 upfront one-time fee to enable that feature. So you're pushing the router up to $3,000. Now, $999 or $799 gets you all of that, and in return, they want to make it up over time with a $199 a year um, ongoing service contract fee for Prime Care. But if you don't need speed fusion bonding, if you don't need to use bonded connections, you don't have to keep paying that, and your first year is free. So this is now suddenly a really you know reasonable option for somebody who's looking for a high-end setup for their RV or their motorhome or something else where they really can take advantage of the redundant connections here. So this unit was provided to us by liveandlight.net um, and uh, they hooked us up to check this out and put some hands-on time with it. We are just now starting to put it through its paces, but first off I'll show you a little bit about the hardware. Now, as you see, this is a pretty small box for everything that it contains. Um, it is ruggedized, it is not waterproof, but it can handle vehicle vibrations, everything like that. On the back here, um, this green thing here is if you want to directly wire it into your vehicle DC power supply and it can actually handle a wide range of input voltages up to 48 volts. Um, so 12 volt, 24 volt, any vehicle power supply you can wire this directly into it. Um, or it has, comes with a AC power adapter, typical, you, know, you plug it into a wall current. Or actually it has these things down here, they're um, you, mini USB ports. And these aren't for tethering, kind of surprising. These mini USB ports are for providing power, and we were able to test this and actually run this off of a USB power adapter. It needs a 2 amp adapter, and it's actually got two of these. And their normal intention seems to be that this would be if you're using this in a, you know, you're a mobile news broadcaster and you're broadcasting from a backpack, you just hook up USB battery packs and power supplies to this and run the entire thing that way. So it gives you a lot of redundant power supplies. You can, you know, whatever kind of power you want to give this, you got it. Then you also have um, two Ethernet ports. They are gigabit Ethernet ports, um, a LAN and a WAN port, but you can also use it as two LAN ports if you wish. Um, so that's what we have here on this side. On the other side, we are encrusted with antennas, and so many antennas that you really actually can't even fold all of them if you wanted to put them up this direction and set it flat. The Wi-Fi antennas 
don't even have space to pivot up because they've crammed so many antennas onto the back here. But to just walk across what we got, you've got the cellular modem one and cellular modem two with their main and diversity antenna. So it's two by two MIMO. Um, some more advanced cellular devices might have four by four MIMO. This is only two by two. That's why it's cat 12, not cat 18, not capable of gigabit speeds because each modem only has two antennas has a hookup for an external GPS dongle and they actually include one in the box if you do that and that will let you, you know, their normal market of fleet of vehicles, it will let you on their online cloud portal in control see where your vehicle is, but for an RV or you can use it as your own kind of low jack. Um, and then you've got your two Wi-Fi antennas. They are MIMO for Wi-Fi and uh, they support simultaneous dual band um, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz using 802.11 AC. So Nice, decent Wi-Fi here. It should be used as Wi-Fi as WAN or Wi-Fi as LAN or simultaneously. So it, this does support using a Wi-Fi upstream network on either one of the bands. So it's very flexible in how you're doing that. Um, and then again, now with all these antennas, now you know it comes with these four, six basic antennas, four, wi four cellular antennas and two Wi-Fi antennas. Um, but you'd more than likely hook this up to some sort of external antenna on your roof, uh, like a, a Mobile Mark or a Panorama that might have all of these antennas up on your roof or just the cellular antennas and leave the Wi-Fi antennas inside your RV or your boat because uh, you really want your cellular antennas on the roof and it would make it a lot less cumbersome than having all these things mounted there. Now, and also what we have here is the SIM cards. So this has got two modems and each modem has two SIM cards. So you can actually have four SIM cards installed at once. Um, one, two for each modem. And you know, just like the Pepwave Max BR1 and other similar devices, dual SIM card devices, each modem can change between carriers, but it takes a minute or two or three to change modes. But um, because you've got two modems, you're not going to drop a connection because one modem can be connected while the other one is changing mode if you're trying to juggle between different carriers. Um, and then the great thing, what makes this unique, is that you can have both modems active at once. Now, this gets interesting with, you can you know, just leave them with load balancing or one with a priority and one is a failover. Um, load balancing kind of divides your data up. So one connection goes out one, one side, one next connection goes out the other but it doesn't really combine your speeds and it gets a really kind of weird if you are have uh, a one fast connection and one slow connection because the router really doesn't know how to deal with connections of different capabilities in a load balancing mode. Um, but still kind of useful. You've got to play around with it um, and interesting. But what, where things get really unique and special with a, a PEP wave is their speed fusion technology. This is their... Um, ability to use two connections simultaneously and actually it sends a VPN out over both connections, both cellular connections, and then you have a server someplace that puts those two connections back together so you have only one virtual connection and it lets you basically combine the speeds and reliability of two different cellular connections or cellular plus Wi-Fi and you know anything like that. Um, the catch with speed fusion is you need to have a server somewhere on the internet that is doing the unbonding, the other side of that equation. And in the past, that has been very, very expensive to, to get, um, you know, basically enterprise-grade bonding services. But now, Pepwave is also offering um, a free license to their bonding server software if you host it on your own server. And it's not so hard to do if you just go to Amazon's Amazon Web Services and or... Microsoft Azure, you can just with a few clicks set up a server, install this software, and you're hosting your own bonding server and paying per gigabyte for the usage you have. So we're going to be experimenting with that and seeing is that now suddenly practical now that this device is no longer $3,000 for a bonding router but just $999 for a dual Cat 12 Pepwave Max Transit Duo. The really interesting, this is kind of on the high end, this is going to be over the head and beyond the needs of most people, but it has a lot to offer, particularly if you need redundancy and you need a connection that really isn't going to drop because you can have two modems active at once. Right now, we've been testing it with AT&T and Verizon, and it's really nice to have them both live at the same time, no manual switching between them. Um, but there's still a lot of configuration to dive deeper into, so we are going to be testing this over the next several months, um, going really deep into how to configure this for mobile users. Um, we'll be following along our mobile internet aficionados. Our premium members will be getting a much deeper 
analysis and our hands-on experience with this. So join if you would like to follow along with this and um, track our review. And, 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 and thank you again to Live and Light uh, that are going to be uh, helping us with the testing. And they actually offer a special discount for our members. So if you're interested in this, you'll actually save more on the discount from Live and Light than it will cost you to join our site. So keep that in mind if you want to play with uh, the latest options from Pepwave on the Max Transit Duo, particularly the Cat 12 version. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.